Welcome to The Art Project. If you're new here, please subscribe. If you enjoy this video, please give me a thumbs up. This is a video on how to make the box and photocopy the cards for the non-objective art cards available at Teacher Pay Teachers. First of all, I've got card stock right here, and I'm gonna make a little notation in the bottom corner. This way, I know when it prints out on the other side, which side needs to be up and down. So I put this in there like this with that little circle facing up. I hit paper select. I hit the bypass tray and then I hit print. When it comes out the other side, and by the way, this is the top of the box. I'm sorry, this is the box itself. When it comes out, you'll see it has got the uh, mark that I made on the back side and the template of the box on the other. So now I'm going to put it back in with the template of the box facing up because of the way it came out and my little mark, I know which way to put it in there. This is the print of the outside of the box. Hit the bypass tray and hit print, sucked it right up, spit it right out the other side with the template facing up, just as I expected, and the print of the cover of the box on the outside. I'm gonna do this again, uh, and this time I don't really need to because I know how it does, but just for the sake of review, I mark it I'm going to place it so that my mark is facing up. And this is 12 sheets of paper for the 12 cards this time. And so I hit the cards. I hit uh, the paper select right there. Bypass tray and start. They come right out over here on the other side. They're being sucked up right there over here and they're being spit out. And notice the blank side is up. The very first one came out had a circle on it. And uh, on the other side, you can see there's the cards. And you take our tail and you flip them over. There are the cards. Now, it, like I said, it's on the bottom one. It doesn't really matter. I just want to make sure I know which way to lay them in the tray. So I'm going to put them in here. Um, cards facing up. Apparently everything's printing on the bottom. And then make sure they're all in there even and nice. I don't want any paper jams. Then I'm gonna go back over here and I'm gonna select the outside of the card or the outside of the box or the back side of the card. I'm using the same image for both. Hit bypass uh, tray, select 12, make 12 copies. And hit okay start and they immediately start sucking them up and spitting them out over here there it is cards facing up print on the back so this way when i cut them all out they should have a nice little back to them now i'm going to cut the whole thing out all the way around um, using a utility knife you can use scissors to cut all the way around it if you want to just using a craft knife makes it nice and easy and I'm just going to cut all the way around the box let's speed it up here so you don't have to watch my entire boring um, presentation I gave up on the ruler just because there's curves here and then I was pretty steady with my hand so I just went ahead and kept kept cutting all the way around no ruler necessary. Then take away all the scrap. I want to make sure that I cut, uh, I'm trimming it up a little bit here because I had some sliver of stuff I didn't want. Uh, make sure you cut on the dotted line uh, for this flap, that one, and then there are two more on the other side. One and two. All right, so there's the cover and there's the template looking nice. Now I'm gonna take a ruler and a pen and I'm going to put an indention, indentation on every fold line. So I'm just taking my ballpoint pen and dragging it along there, along that line. Makes nice straight uh, indentations, nice straight folds. And I'm just gonna go around the whole thing, do it to every line. 
I'm pressing down kind of hard. I don't want to go through the paper, obviously, but I want there to be an indentation that it will fold on nice and neat. And then uh, start folding. I'm going to pre-fold everything. And then I'm going to take a little stick glue, put it on the outside of this particular flap. This piece is what glues it to the other side. So I'm going to put a little glue right here. I want to make it like a sticker so that glue goes all the way off and on. And then I'm going to fold it around and glue it to the other side. It's really probably better if you lay it down, go ahead and fold it flat, lay it down, and put it right there where it goes. Give it a few minutes to dry. I didn't, because uh, I was in a hurry. But give it a few minutes to dry before you start, you know, trying to fold it and alter it and all that kind of stuff. Before you try to do the rest of the box. Let it dry. Okay, so now I'm going to fold these two flaps in. This is the bottom of the box. Fold all that together. Put that flap inside there. And then just get a piece of uh, scotch tape. and put it right there on the edge. This will keep uh, the cards from falling out the bottom. And now you have a nice little box. If this is helpful, please give my video a thumbs up. Uh, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And um, leave me a comment down below. What do you think of this box? What do you think of the cards, uh, all that sort of stuff. And then uh, if you don't mind, share on your favorite social media platform. There we go. Tell all your teacher friends about this cute little box of non-objective art cards. You can get on Teacher Pay Teachers. Uh, links are in the description below. There it is. Hopefully uh, this will last a while. One of the things that I considered doing was laminating the box so that it would last longer. I could also apply packing tape. I use packing tape sometimes to laminate and give it a clear um, coating. Uh, but I didn't do that on this box, but it could definitely be done. So there you go. Charles turn now. Go make some art.